All right, welcome back Black Acre Ranch. This is an update on the demo of this garage and its progress. So we've gotten actually quite a bit done since our last video. Um, before we had one room all filled out or framed out, let me show it to you. I'm going to come in the front door. So this is the front door and this is gonna be an office. And we had this before done. We decided to leave this wall here. Um, and the reason was, was because, well, I didn't wanna move it. Uh, lazy and this office is almost 10 feet deep here it's a little shy we're just going to use this to put a desk on that side desk on this side maybe a printer and so forth on the inside between them um, so this we just decided to leave no point in destroying stuff that could be useful anyway we have this wall we have that framed out we just need to remove the wood on the bottom but then, this last week, we were able to get the rest of this frame. My dad and my mom stayed with Talmadge, and they were able to get this wall done. And it comes down, and then they framed up a portion of the garage. So we are going to have a single car garage right here. You see that one? That's to be installed later on. And then we have a series of these boxes, and so that's the next step. And my dad was able to get done. We have an electric panel, 200 amp electric panel. It's got how many spaces, Dad? 40? 30. 30 spaces. So 30 spaces and he's been running this electric all up top. So we have all of our outlets in each room. You'll see that we have outlets and they've been wired 20 amp for all the plugs. Each room was on a separate circuit for plugs and then we have 14 two pretty much or 14 gauge up top for all the other wiring. So that's our lighting. In the garage we have some others. Now this door from the garage is going to be a left hand in swing. The front door here will be a right hand in swing. Oops, sorry. Right hand in swing. So uh, then you'll have the switches to your left. Um, this is what I'm standing in right now. It's just going to be a reception area probably. We're going to have a desk sitting here in the corner, a reception desk. This wall is almost seven and a half, almost eight feet. And this one was a little over 11 before the doorway. So this room is 16 by 10, and this one is 23 by about 10, just shy of 10. So we've made a lot of progress. Oh, 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 I did want to say, existing window openings. I was able to talk to Home Depot. We're kind of getting some things squared away on how this is working. We're mending fences in some ways, but we have windows that I just picked up Instead of a four foot wide by three foot, I had to go a three foot by four foot. So we're gonna be changing this window opening. Um, that's the only window opening that was existing that we are keeping. The other two are in the garage and we're not gonna keep those. But we are gonna put a window in this small skinny room right through the door. It's gonna be three foot wide by four foot. Um, we're gonna frame that out too as well. And then on this wall at the front, here's the front door. Right next to it, we're gonna put a window right next to the front door. It's only going to be two wide, three tall. So that's the plans, or that's the progress. So what are we doing today? Well, my dad is going to finish the wiring in the garage. <clears throat> we just have a series of outlet boxes. And uh, what else, Dad, are we doing? Oh, windows. windows. So he's going to frame out the windows, and then we got to make sure that we have a way to attach sheetrock up top. So. These rafters are currently four feet on center, so we have to run two by fours in the middle. Okay, now this other room has an example of exactly how that's gonna be done. So let's go through the door. So what they've got is, here's the rafter, and then there's the rafter. And what they did was they put a two by four across the bottom of the rafters, laid it on top, nailed it down, and then they put adjoining two by fours running lengthwise across here, and then they junctioned it, and then ran another one all the way across. So in essence, they're just creating the bottom of another truss, and uh, they spaced that at two feet on center. So we're gonna follow that same approach. We're just gonna be doing it over here, coming across, and doing it through the rest of these rooms here. So we're gonna have to make sure that these trusses are still four feet on center. Once they're set, then we'll do two feet on center between. And that is the projects for today. We're gonna to do electrical. My dad's gonna get the windows done and then we're gonna start checking the ceiling to get all that sorted out. 
So that's what my dad and my mom are working on today. We have more happening in the little garage. I think all the wiring is about done. So grandpa's been super awesome getting all that done. And now they're prepping for windows. So we're gonna go look at that. Um, we've got a lot of water to pump. Our pond's getting pretty shallow. So we wanna see if we can suck as much as we can to make sure we don't lose any evaporation. And I think Jeff's hooking up the mower. Yay! I think the saddest part is there's just so much to do all the time. It's hard to get get the mowing done so I think it'll look a lot different we'll see what you can get done today how you doing I'm on break you're on break that sounds really funny sounds almost like you got your wisdom teeth on no not recently oh just not today huh okay so Grant's been helping they got this window um, closed up here huh Grant mm -hmm. you've been grandpa's helper today mm-hmm And the other window in this garage space is over there, also all closed up, because Grandpa puts the last nails in. No nails in it. No nails? You still gotta do that. That's alright. We'll get nails. Now we do have a little window open right here, and then I think we're going to be having a window over there which isn't done yet. So it's looking good. So a couple more windows. Once I think they're all prepped, we'll hook up the nailer and get it all set. All right, with all the workers, we can't forget our two little guys. Clean up a pile of junk, huh, guys? Yay. Yeah, good workers. We appreciate it. Woo! Yep, stop it. Good job. <laughs> Try lifting, see what comes, because it looks like you're making a mess. Go, 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 away, Bob! Just don't make a bigger mess cleaning it up than it was before. We're doing something. You are doing We're something. We're the trash can. He's a friend. Yeah, that's a good trash can. We appreciate him. Can you smell here, Lana? All right, Jeff's over there hooking up the tractor to the mower. I wanted you to kind of get a good feel of uh, pre-mowing. The other area I'd really like him to get to mow is way yonder by the little house. And then this area way over here where the handling facility is going to be. So this hill is kind of blocking, but there's um, it goes over the edge. And there's these basketball courts over there with asphalt. So not necessarily the asphalt, but there's just a lot of weeds. Huh, Mari? Yeah. Okay, so I'm down at the little lake that we've been sucking dry. So I figured we'd show you how low it is. So the water used to go all the way back over there, which is all dry. So we have a little bit right there, and then we still have this big part here. And this part's, you know, deeper. And then it used to go all the way up there. So we know our lake definitely doesn't last and we're on the list to get a well and it should be in a few weeks. So we're trying to kind of bridge the gap before we have consistent water and hopefully it'll all work out. So yay for wells. Hopefully that all goes really well when they get here.
So we started trying to mow and um, I have a tool, got everything prepped and you can see that the mower is right next to me. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you about the broke. It broke, okay? My John Deere E12 broke. So Giddy's a schoolboy. I'm going along, first pass, no big deal. Gonna cut back over by the fence. It's about, I don't know, 60 feet or so from that fence. And then pop, 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 bust it off. And now I'm dead in the water. So I'm gonna call a tech guy, but that's the part that sucks is when something breaks and then it's Saturday afternoon. So the front, where it connects to the PTO shaft, the cover, Actually, he's now gone, can't find it. This plate, I don't know. It's not seating. This popped off. It was a gradual turn. It wasn't stressful. This was, of course, hanging down, and all that plastic piece was off. So, um, not sure if this is supposed to be as wiggly, but things don't seem to be lining up as well. I don't know if it's working right. I'm gonna go call a tech guy and have to come back at some point, I don't know. But I officially got about 100 feet of mowing before it decided to crap out. So to stay productive, I got the grapple, started doing some man things, got started grunting a little bit, looking for my wife, wondering where she's at, and uh, unloaded all that stuff. So that one of those was an air handler, like a swamp cooler, then a boat trailer, it's all aluminum, moved all these guys over. I got the wood logs, moved them over, and just kind of tried to beautify and get everything set up the little log by the house had some wasps in it, and then that big tree was a beast, man. So, got it all over, not too bad. Now I'm just kind of bored. I'm like, what man thing can I do? I'm gonna have to start searching around and figuring something out. All right, so this is the productive stuff to do is watch your son do dumb crap. Fire away, Grant. Eyes were closed the entire time. Yep, and it looks like it. Closed eyes work miracles. Hey, the ultimate judgment here is whether or not this is actually a level cut. Hey, here's close okay, enough for here government two work. boards. <laughs> yes, close enough for government work. Next one, Grant. Be speedy, my son. Be speedy. Yeah, that's flat. <laughs> that's flat, whatever. Yeah, if you tip the board, it's flat. Okay, like a bad dad I am, I forgot to record it. But you can see he's perfectly level across all the studs. A gnat would have the same opinion as me. That is flat. <laughs> We've got an angle this way, an angle that way, and an angle this way. All right, Grant. Grandma gave them a dollar, or not a dollar, a penny for every screw or nail they found. So they've been scouring the place, looking on the floor. How much did you earn last time, dog? A dollar and, you want dog? Six cents. Oh, how much you, bug? A dollar and twenty-eight. All right, did you guys find a bunch today? Not really. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, we did. Yeah, from you sled. Did? From a sled. Ah. From that house. Ah, okay. Well, that's good. This is our two foot wide by three foot tall window. Um, we moved it over to here because over here we already had the wire and it was then going to be really close to the door frame. So we decided to move it over here. The only thing we want to make sure is that when this door opens, the garage door this way, I just, it should be fine, but I don't want the handle hitting into the window. So, but I think it should be fine. Oh, let's see how it looks, Dad. No. Want me to flip it? Um, I don't know if there's anything you're gonna do that's gonna fix it, Dad. Isn't that right, Grant? I was blind. Those are impeccable. Oh, amazing. Well, we could always throw a shim in there, I think. Now you oh. grunt. We didn't have a set right. <laughs> okay, I'll delete that. <laughs> Will you? Okay, dog. Uh, These are great. Up. All right, dog. I like those. Yeah. You really think I'm going to delete that? No. Nope. You're putting that in the video. Darn right it is. No. Let's see if we can get a shim in there. Oh, oops. Crap. <laughs> you might want to move that. You can use a shim on a window, right? Bubble that. Bam! Good enough. This is so perfect. The perfectedness of this perfection couldn't be more perfect. Perfect. Right? This thing. 
This one punch. Hey! Watch and learn, he says. Tommy boy reference, right, Tika? Tommy boy reference. Watch and learn, he says. says. Okay guys, spared you the details of the gory ending and our shenanigans, but guess what we got done? The window. So we got it framed out. We're officially actually out of wood that I had set out for this. So good planning on my part, right? Anyway, we've got that window done and we've also got this office window here done, newly framed out. And then of course, we've got the window back behind me, which is in this reception area next to the door. So we've got everything done that we wanted to get done, like cutting that out, although Grant did not do the other one because he's our star child for the day. He got lazy. But we did not get to the point of doing the rafters and making sure they're all squared out and nailing them up and so forth. And a little bit of over at these other windows kind of seeing through there on that other window. But we got everything else done. We spent some time getting some grapple work done, breaking a mower. All in all, it was a pretty productive day. We would have started doing more siding. That was on the schedule today. It was on the schedule last week. Um, every time we place an order, of course, we just get denied on certain things and then they send certain other things. So we've got as many cancellation orders and modifications as we do actual orders. But that should be coming up soon. So siding is hopefully this next time or at least getting house wrap, windows, doors, and then doing all this framing upstairs. So stay with us as we finish this garage and uh, we'll keep you posted. All right, like and subscribe. We'll talk to you later. Bye.